expected here today. You can see in the contrast on the upper part of the screen, just a little bit of overcast conditions. Those will begin to break up later this afternoon, but we're going to start out today with those clouds in the area. Temperatures right now also holding steady in the low to mid 40s across the region. 47 for us here in Lubbock, 42 over in Leveland, and 40 up in Anton. So it's a little bit chilly start for the most part here today. But we'll see temperatures later this afternoon warming up very nicely. 47 this morning once you head out the door. 72 this afternoon for lunchtime. 76 depending on when you're trying to get your vote in later today. And then highs tomorrow warming up into the mid 80s perhaps now. So we're excited about that. Some pleasant weather across the region. This is where it's not so pleasant though. Let's take a look at this. This is Hurricane Eta here and it is now bearing down on the Nicaraguan coast and bringing in some very, very strong winds. Let's get the latest update here from the National Hurricane Center. 150 mile an hour winds. That's good for a category four storm and it is potentially catastrophic issues along the coast there. I've been to Nicaragua before. A lot of those folks down there, they just don't have the resources to be able to handle this type of storm. So keep an eye on it. If you see any opportunity that maybe you can send some supplies down there, something along those lines, they need it. This is a very difficult country here. They had a bad year last year with an extreme drought and now this, right? So a lot of issues for those folks. A little bit closer here for us here at home. We'll see the possibility of some rain returning back into our area come Sunday and Monday. And then take a look at this right here. This is uh, interesting. This is Ada again. The, the, this thing's not going to go away, possibly impacting the eastern half of the Gulf Coast states sometime along late into the forecast period. We don't suspect this will have any issues for the western Gulf Coast states, including Texas. Uh, it's just very unlikely with the setup that we have. But with that, those rain chances again later on in the week as we start towards next week. All dry this week, but take a look. We'll see the possibility come Sunday or Monday. Seven day forecast here showing all dry this week, but again, once that trough sets up and begins to dig into our area, winds pick up on Saturday and into Sunday as well. That'll be windy too, but that's whenever we're going to start to see the possibility for some showers or possibly even some thunderstorms. Noticed a, a little bit of some uh, some convection popping up there in the last model run. So we'll see what that looks like. We'll keep you updated over the next week or so here. Of course, the big day today, Kathleen, voting day, 77 degrees. Excellent forecast to be outside in line getting your vote in. Absolutely. Perfect weather for that. So, you know, just uh, grab a bottle of water, be ready to stand in those lines, cast that ballot and make your voice heard today. 100%. Well, on Monday.